The head of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development says it plans to invest around 1 billion in Ukraine this year, including in the gas sector, provided real reforms are implemented. Good laws in themselves are only really good if they're enforced and, and implemented. So passing them is one thing, that's a good thing to do, of course, but then we need to see the implementation. So I think the popular population fundamentally want to see, and so do businesses, that corruption and vested interests are really being taken on, that they're really being tackled. So we won't give you an exact figure because we don't know what it will be, um, but it, we are going to aim for something in the you know, upper reaches of getting towards a billion if we can. That would be our set of ambition. But it's uh, an ambition that's completely dependent on reform implementation. So it could be less <laughs> as well. It is a good thing, and this is, a, this is a compliment. I think in the last year, Ukraine has reduced the number of banks from over 170 down to about 114 uh, or so. But it still ha has far too many banks. And too many banks, which are really, uh, in our view, the personal piggy banks of oligarchs. Uh, and not really serving as modern banking system should. The EBRD pumped a record $1.2 billion into Ukrainian projects in 2014, but has invested only $100 million so far this year, holding off until it is convinced of progress.